I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Upstart. If you're someone like me who has had multiple credit cards, who has had multiple loans with high interest rates, or someone that wants to fund an upcoming project, Upstart may be right for you. I like every once in a while to consolidate all of my debt under one roof and pay a one monthly fee. Check out upstart.com slash Tony D'Angelo and do a five minute online rate check to see what you can get from $1,000 to $50,000. Loan amounts will be determined based upon your credit, income, and other certain information provided in the loan application. It's something to check out. It's something to put all that debt together and put it under one roof and pay monthly payments. You save money at the end of the day and you take care of the debt that you need to take care of. Go check it out, upstart.com slash Tony D'Angelo. I will leave a link down below in the description to find out more. Give it a shot. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a very special vid. Got him early. Man, listen, the month of June, I look back and realize that nothing was releasing. Like, June was slow, bro. The month of June was my birthday month, so I was so happy about that. But as far as sneaker releases go, it was trash, bro. And as far as Jordan releases go, bro, it was only like two, like what, two, three Jordans that released. The Fusion Red dropped on June 12th. I don't think anything came before. My bad. June 7th, I think, was the the Court Purples, which was which was a women's exclusive. June 12th was the Fusion Reds. And then we recently had the Jordan 1 Low uh, Neutral Grays that dropped. Now, there's a couple of Yeezys. There was a couple of Unions and stuff like that. But we don't... Uh, that type of stuff don't even hit my radar. Tons of Dunks. Those are instant L's. There wasn't really much, I guess you could say, just... There wasn't really many Jordans, I feel like, that was releasing or popping up each and every week. It wasn't look, It wasn't something to look forward to. But we got our hands on something a little early. You know what I'm saying? That will be releasing next month. Or I said, well, next month, this upcoming Saturday... And furthermore, moving forward, I think we have a lot of stuff coming back to back to back. And that shoe that we got early today is the Jordan 4 White Oreo. We have the Jordan 4, they're calling these the White Oreo, AKA Tech Gray is the more color-based name for it. And uh, yeah, you can see, man. I don't really see the White Oreo in this for the fact of, uh, we have the actual Oreos right here. Um, just check out real quick. You see the Tech Gray on there. You see the leather, real nice leather on this bad boy. And uh, can it focus? Bro, this whole time I didn't even have it focused. Oh my God, I'm crystal clear now. I was not crystal clear at first. Check it out though. Yeah, focus. Focus it, there you go. Look at that. Look at the leather quality. Man, I had that thing on manual the whole time. I was wondering, I was like, it was not looking crystal clear as it needed to. But I just want you guys to get a good look. Glitter, glitter on this one. Now we have the white version. The Jordan 4 white Oreo, as they're calling it. And I don't see a much, I don't see that much of a resemblance here, man. I mean, yeah, the tech gray is there. This one's a more darker tech gray. You have the leather is not even as tumbled at all compared to it. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even have the actual side paneling of leather. You have this the traditional, you know, Jordan 4. And then the tongue. Okay, I'm corrected. I actually talk about this later on in the video that I did not remember if the tongue on there, you see how it's embroidered. I thought that on the original Oreo that that was more popped out, but as you can see, it is flat. They're both flat. And when I meant popped out, I meant kind of like how the UNC 4s had that popped out 3D type of embroidery. But we have these here. This is how they come. This is how they come laced up. There is no square tats on here that I thought there would be. I guess they took that out and put that money into this box that has a different color on there. Retail 190, white slash fire red, tech gray. These are from Soul Play, of course. You shot the Soul Play. These will be available more than likely raffled on their website. Go check them out at Soul Play ATL. And I also picked up some clothing pieces that you guys can check out later on in the video, including this hat and this right here. This sample, Koiti, is dropping this upcoming weekend. So make sure you guys are tuned in on that over on Sample. I will leave links in the description to this, to this, where you can cop this right now. It's available on their website. Use the code tonyd 2 wild get 10% off. You already know what it is, cease and desist. And uh, I'll leave your IG so you guys can get tuned in on how to cop these from them, whether it's a raffle and or first come, first serve. But I'm pretty sure 
it's going to be a raffle. But quick look through, like I said, the leather on here, it has a lot of wrinkles, but it's not as, you know, tumbled as the Oreo originals. So you can see some slight wrinkles, but not that same effect, if you ask me. On here, you got, you know, the Jumpman, leather tab, the wings are white with uh, the waffles and cement. This reminds me more so of like an alternate white cement, if you really ask me. If you want to compare this to an actual shoe, I compare this more to a white cement than that of a Oreo. And we got some white cements right behind us, so let's go grab them. <clears throat> so here we go. We got the white cement right here. This is the Nike Air back version. And let me see. Let's compare this now. Even still, kind of slightly. Damn, I got to clean these guys. These guys are starting to yellow and everything. But, I mean, I don't know. Y'all let me know which one does it resemble more in your opinion. It's slightly different than the white cement, so I gotta kind of take that back. I don't know, man. It's just a little different, a little weird. But these all look like these. These all look like they're in the same family. That tech gray, even though it's slightly different. The the white Oreo matches the tech gray. I would say more so than the actual. Uh, this one matches this in the grays than this gray. But everything else, I can see the resemblance in the actual shoe itself. We give him these names at the end of the day, you know, White Oreo. We give it that name. So Jordan Brand just calls it Tech Gray. You even got the embroidery I showed y'all earlier, but I'll show y'all more of a close up and stitched right there, no patch or nothing like that. And then on the inside, you have a shiny effect. And this shiny effect is the same effect that was used on the Jordan 1 Court Purple. Let's throw some jabs, let's throw some jokes. The Jordan 1 Court Purple was a women's exclusive. I copped it because to me it's a Court Purple metallic. And I think I even said myself in that video, I'm going to throw some jazz at myself, that you could tell when Jordan Brand tries to make something a women's exclusive or something catered to the ladies, they'll throw something that is glitters or uh, glam or it'll have more leather on it or the inside of the shoe is always satin. Well, this is a all-around basic Jordan for men and women. And they still put that satin in there that shine in there so it don't matter if it's a men's exclusive or women's exclusive uh, all family size they're going to still put that little satin shine in there and that's what they did on this one that's all shiny as you can see you know it almost looks like it's 3m in a way um so it's not something that's based upon whether it's a women's exclusive or not so if you're one of those guys like i'm not copping that i liked it but that that you know it's a women's exclusive i'm not copping women's exclusive man they got that that damn satin shine that's womenly well let's see if you got that energy for these guys huh yeah, I doubt it. I doubt it. But it's all good. I let you. I, I I won't even. I'm not. You know, I ain't tripping. At the end of the day, you buy what you like. You buy what you want. I love you guys on that. But overall, great looking shoe. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely gonna keep this one in the collection for quite some time. And uh, yeah, man. Um, stay tuned. Full in depth review coming soon on these bad boys. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the video, and I'll get back with you at the very end. Alright guys, so we finally made it back to the homeland over at Soul Play to pick up some new items today. We got some new ice cream, new rocket, um, lifted anchors, a lot of different brands in the building, but I'm really coming here to check out the new ice cream that just dropped today. And of course, this uh, this fitted. Available now, beautiful. Cease and desist, another one, another banger. Available on the website too as we speak, so make sure you go and check out soulplayatl.com. Use the code TONY2WILD. Get 10% off on your order and also a couple left of these bad boys. I think they might have some green ones in the back. They'll be loading up pretty soon, but they've been flying. They're sold out over on our website. So if you want to go check it out over here on Soul Play, you can get it and you can get it 10% off. Cheaper than our own website, so check it out. So I'm looking at the new BBC. They got some some, uh, some jorts, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I, I, don't, I almost want to pop the trigger off, you know, you know, pull the trigger. I said pop the trigger, pull the trigger on these, but bruh, they want 200 on this. $200 for some foxes, bruh. Yeah, you can fox your ass on for that. 200, but we got some, you know, some button ups right here. I'm kind of digging that a little bit. 
You know what I'm saying? Some spiffy iffy right there. I really liked this t-shirt, but this one was sold out. They only, well, they only had a size small. All these are available on the site by now? Uh, yes. So everything is available on the site that you see, and I will leave links down below to what I end up picking up. But I definitely think I'm gonna go with this, uh, this blue joint. And I'm looking to see, let me see. Where is this? Oh, this is this one right here. I'm gonna grab this guy right here, probably this little basic ice cream. And then I'm looking at this one. I'm trying to see if they got this in my size as well. And then over here on Rockets End, there's a t-shirt that I saw I liked a lot. It's a basketball tee. Basketball is life. Rocket is the basketball. Well, basketball is life. Basketball's life. I was reading it upside down, my bad. But I like this one. Real nice, clean, you know what I'm saying? Salutes to the Suns, man. They need to make it. They need to make it out. And uh, I'm looking at some other Rocket tees. I'm see what I'm end up picking up from them. But they have a whole new collection of that that just dropped over on the website that you guys can check out as well. We also, these are dropping this upcoming weekend, you know what I'm saying? Here's something, something to show y'all. These are the Jordan 4. White. Initial thoughts, very nice. The leather, from what people were telling me, I thought it was gonna be a little bit better. A little bit better in my opinion. They're not bad, don't get me wrong, but it's just not as uh, tumbled. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more tumbled like the original Oreos or how they're comparing and they said it was gonna be like more of a tumbled leather. This is more of a smoother. It has some slight, you know, tumbledness to it. It has like a little bit, you can see it close up, but it's not as, uh, I guess you could say thick or as plush as I would have expected, but real good quality. You know what I'm saying? I can't really complain about that. The look overall, the box, everything about it has a good overall look. 190 on the price point, and uh, these are coming out this upcoming Saturday. The uh, Jumpman also doesn't pop out like the original Oreos, nor does it have the netting. But at the same time, we the ones that give these, you know, these nicknames, White Oreo, or you know, I think I thought these originally called like the Tech Grays, the Jordan 4 Tech Grays. So yeah, to each his own. Reminds me more of a cement than a damn Oreo, if you ask me. But it is what it is. All right, guys. So some items I picked up. From Soul Play was from Rocket and BBC. Or no, from my, oh my bad, from Rocket and Ice Cream. Picked up this Rocket tee right here. Basketball is life. I liked it a lot. More so because of the back. I'm not a big fan of Rocket. And I'm not saying that as in like I don't like them, but I just don't like I don't I don't look for them. You know what I'm saying? But I want to kind of start venturing off into other brands and doing other things. So that's why I give things, you know, give things a shot. And all these should be available on their website. You can use the code Tony D2Y, get 10% off on these items you have the ice cream now you do know i love ice cream at the end of the day like real life ice cream but also just ice cream in general pick this one up i've been noticing something bro when it came to shirts and stuff especially with ice cream i was buying like mediums and then the mediums would be extremely small then i started buying a lot of larges even in samples started getting the larges and like this is a large and it fits too big so i'm going back to medium i don't know if i'm losing weight or what but like I was trying larges, but larges be fitting way too large for me, bro. So now I'm back in medium. So everything you see here is medium now because some tees, bro, they just be, you know, this is, well, my bad. This is the ice cream with the fox and it's like a, like a pops out. It's all popped out. But I don't know, man, like I, I can't rock larges, bro. Larges is too large, bro. Straight up. Then we have another ice cream button up. Now I really, I picked this one up because I just haven't had any button ups in a minute and it's the old school vibes with this one, you know what I'm saying? Something a little different, you know what I'm saying? A little button up. So everything I stated before, as I said, is medium. We'll see how they come out on the body. Hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm looking good. I hopefully I'm losing weight, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what I hope, I'm looking forward to seeing. And then last but not least, we picked up another one from Rocket as well. This one is, uh, it's cool. I just don't like the, I don't, I'm kind of starting to slowly, I guess, catch up with people, man, you know, where, fashion in general i'm not i'm becoming less and less liking big huge logos on the front this is a medium size you know what i'm saying it's cool it's not too crazy it's on the chest piece here's the back you know what i'm saying that's what i like a lot so that's what i'm kind of aiming for more and more I, this one's a large like i said i could go with a medium 
because what happens when I go with a large, it goes a little bit wider, but it gets too long, bro. It's just too long. So yeah, guys, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. The Jordan 4 white Oreo set to release this upcoming weekend, this upcoming Saturday. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I will link down below everything that you see here today. Huge shout out to today's sponsor, Upstart, for sponsoring today's video. Huge shout out to Soul Play, Sample, everything and above. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Check out the links down below in the description. Use the code TonyD2Wild. And uh, yeah. So yeah, man, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe. It's your boy, 20D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.